I think the most interesting thing um, was the audience research, uh, which showed that there were obviously a group of people who had very strong views, people of very formal faith, people who were uh, very clearly atheistic. Um, uh, and then there was a very wide group of people in between who were much more mix and match. You know, one in four people changed their religious affiliation in their lifetime. Um, but, but generally, the audience uh, in that group was saying, we're really interested. We take our views from faith, from a range of faiths, from moral questions, and we would like more help with that. And, and actually, that was then reinforced by talking to stakeholders who very much wanted us to continue to play the role of reflecting and celebrating individual faiths, but they wanted us to reach out as well. They said, actually, we're worried about the people not coming to our mosques, not coming to our churches. The unique thing that you can do is bring those moral questions to a wider group and also make sure that we bust out of our echo chambers. We're talking to each other about faith and religion and ethics and hearing what other people have to say as well. Who implements the policy? Because you haven't got extra money, you haven't got a formal head of religion, though you have an in-house radio religion. So who is in charge of, of taking the view overall, this is what we should be doing, I will review what we're doing, and also I will be a source of authoritative advice? Is that you? Yeah, well, we do it together. I mean, I think formally, yeah, probably... Together with... Well, with all the team who do it. So well, our colleagues in news, we meet regularly. And it, so your, your question implies slightly that this is something that people have been made to do. You know, this is why we joined... Well, yeah, because in the past, a lot of people have thought, to be honest, took taking a very narrow view of religion. Think that, you know, songs of praise and that's it. Not seeing it's also about that wider issue of ethics, how we behave, in which there will be a number of perspectives, including that of faith. Yes. Uh, and we, we thought that was a risk that our... If we continued down the path that we were on, we could end up marginalising religion a bit in that way. So we didn't want to overplay that, but we thought that was a, a danger. We said that in the review. We always resist parceling money into that's the money for arts, that's the money for science, that's the money for religion, because actually that can be very reductive and it can mean that you end up narrowing the creativity that you can make. But in radio, some would have thought it unfortunate that uh, you announced this policy and then not long afterwards something understood, well originations for something understood on Radio 4 was cancelled. Now, the argument was, we've got to save money, and by the way, there's a fantastic archive, and there is, but that's not an archive that will be refreshed. Do you regret that decision? No, we have to make cuts, and everybody has to make cuts. So th this review wasn't saying, you know, we're going to um, say that religion, uniquely of all the genres, was going to be excused, you know, because then why wouldn't science be, and why wouldn't arts be, and why wouldn't... So, so what I would point to is the fact that in that same period... You know, of course we would love to be able to make more originations. And how much in-house expertise do you uh, uh, need to have? Because as a result of um, Songs of Praise going uh, outside to an independent, I think most people at Nodge are very good independent, but essentially there isn't an in-house significant television department. Does that matter? Is it important in principle, as in other areas like science and elsewhere, to keep within the BBC a significant element of expertise? we decided to make sure that we got that expertise in a different way. And actually, one of the things that's come out of the Religion Review is we work very closely together. We know where the expertise lies. And so we do it... You know, we've got commissioners who are you know, extremely expert in their area as well. And so what we're trying to do is to have that expertise through a network rather than always looking to Tommy and his colleagues as we, and Christine as we might have done before. So it was, it was a challenge, but we've tried to do it by having a network of, of people. We have a continuing commitment to representing the Christian faith, um, and you can see that in Songs of Praise, Sunday Morning Live, Big Questions, alongside sort of the key pillars of the schedule, things like, um, you know, which mark the main religious festivals. We've tried to make sure they have a real resonance for now, and a real resonance with the sort of the timely issues within those faiths. But they're also a really good space for new talent, for, and that's sort of in front and behind the camera, and we're very flexible about how we make those. Some are funny, some are serious, some are presenter-led, some are observational. On two, it's a slightly different remit. We deliver into peak time slots across the year on BBC Two. I would say on two, we've broadened our religious output there to encompass everything from travel logs like pilgrimage, which I think is a really good opportunity to explore um, regions, to explore cultures, and to sort of provide a kind of a vehicle, if that's the right word for something where you do walking, um, <laughs> to, you know, um, explore questions about faith. You know, it's great to talk whilst you walk. We do think it's really important that we continually question and ask ourselves what we're trying to achieve with it, and don't just keep rolling things on, but we're always asking, what is it doing? 
and is it answering the key questions? All our audience research has told us that, you know, despite the fact we live in a sort of a less structured moral environment, our viewers still have a really keen interest in religious and ethical questions, and moreover, they understand the importance of learning about religion. So even if they don't per se have a defined faith, there's still an interest there, there's still an enthusiasm and, and support for learning more and seeing that represented in our content. So what we try and do is make sure that the, the programmes we make feel cross-genre, they feel invitational. So you're not just making religious programmes for religious people, you're making programmes that have religious content across the board. I think we do a lot less of the, you know, authoritative person standing in front of picture and talking about everything. You know, it's much more nuanced, it's much more authored, it's much more um, emotional. Our mission is to reach as many people as possible um, and to appeal to those mainstream audiences as well as, you know, audiences that would gravitate towards faith programmes. So the other thing that we are really focused on and we think is really important to do is to represent the diversity of faith in the UK and around the world and continually look at the role that religion and ethics plays in our day-to-day -day lives. So it's not just a sort of dusty, objective subject, but it goes back to what you're saying, it's subjective and it feels emotional. I think some of our output is provocative sometimes, but I would say that it's always provocative with a purpose. And I think it's really important that we celebrate that we can and do tackle thorny issues. You know, we shouldn't shy, shy away from those, because there is a need to generate debate and, uh, and conversation. We should be a space that can offer people uh, an opportunity to explore some of these big things, whether it's AI, you know, whether it's life, death, ageing, medical ethics, moral injustice, you know, social issues, all those sorts of things. The BBC and religion and ethics programming should be a space um, that we can reflect on how we and how others choose to live their lives and give us all a chance to sort of question our own society and question our beliefs.